This is Dolany TV, guys. A big welcome back to the MLB The Show Toronto Blue Jays franchise mode in the OSFM rosters. Hold on. It's been that long. I nearly forget what I'm doing. Anyway, we are looking at our opening day lineup, but of course we've got spring training to go yet, so we'll get off the bench for a second. Garrett Aker, Devin Travis, Justin Smoke, Josh Donaldson, Renan Grichuk, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Kevin Blar, Boba Shett, and Reese McGuire. That's the opening day lineup. I'm set, I'm sold, I'm good with it. Now, of course, Reese McGuire is 73 overall, up from a 71. You know, Russ Martin, he was down to a 72. He was 37 years old entering this season. Could not afford to have an old guy like that. I mean, he, he was doing serviceably, but it's time to let Reese McGuire do his thing on the bench. Now, or uh, at, behind the plate, not on the bench. We can't have Reese McGuire on the bench, pardon me. Dalton Pompey, Tommy Wells, Luke Maley, Olympus Diaz, and you got Rowdy Telez, Ken Levine, uh, Dwight Smith Jr., and Anthony Alford, who will all challenge it out. Of course, it's going to be between probably Dalton Pompey, Dwight Smith Jr., and Anthony Alford to stick. And then we'll have Ken Levine. I think he's just up here just to test it out. We'll see what he does. And then a Litmus Diaz will be traded away. That's kind of what I'm envisioning, or else we trade away Dalton Pompey as well. So we may trade two of these guys, keep Telez, Tommy Wells, and Maley, and then keep Levine. I think that's what we do. I don't know. Only spring training will tell. That's where we're going with it. Sorry, pardon me. I'm very tired today. Uh, sleep schedule got very messed up on the weekend, as you could tell by the live stream yesterday. It was a rough go. Anyway, Marcus Stroman, who led the way 14 and 10, a 3.44 ERA last season. Somehow a little bit better, somehow a little bit worse than last year. In 14 and 10, same same record, so don't mind him. Aaron Sanchez, at least still a winning record on the year last year. 66 walks, 145 strikeouts, but that 4.21 ERA did not allow him to get 200 innings. Alex Wood, though, ate 190 innings, 17 and 4. That was the beast mode number for Alex Wood this past season 150 strikeouts and a 278 ERA. Man, if he had better strikeouts per nine, you imagine what he could do. Rick Porcello, well, Rick Porcello, 218 innings, 16 wins, 4 losses, 176 strikeouts, 293 ERA, and a buck 05 whip. What a beauty. Sean Reed Foley, well, this is the question. What's Sean Reed Foley going to do in his second full year in the MLB? We're going to find out. Hopefully, it's something good. Yeah, CL Sierra and Joe Biagini battling it out. Sam Sims, the question mark as well, Jordan Hicks. So, it's going to be between Sam Sims and Jordan Hicks to see who will end up down in the minor leagues. Sam Sims trying to come in and impress as a 71 overall rookie at 20 years old. We'll find out. Aaron Loop has that setup man position locked. So as soon as one of those guys goes, then you move Joe Biagini to either setup or middle relief. So boys, this is the question. Shall we get this underway? We shall. Toronto Blue Jays in 2020 year number three will go up to, ooh, this is a shortened spring, but it's extended. I don't know how the looks of this. We'll go there and we are winning ball games easily and then uh, losing a bunch of ball games actually. Seven and nine. Mm, okay. It took a weird turn after winning the first three games of the season, that is for sure. Aaron Sanchez sporting a 270. Garrett Aker, 304, doing his thing already to start this spring training in 46 at bats. Devin Travis, 306. Justin Smoke, 333. And Josh Donaldson, 286. So that top lineup really getting the pace turned up quick. Rana Grichuk, the numbers are there, just not the batting average. Vladimir Guerrero Jr., that's what we like to see out of him. Kevin Plar, same numbers. Bo Bichette, struggling mightily. Mm, that's an interesting development right there for Bo Bichette to start this spring training. And then a 187 batting average for Reese McGuire as well. Dalton Pompey, Tommy Wells. Dalton Pompey doing it in four hits, nine at bats. Tommy Wells, though, with 304 batting average in 23. I like those numbers a little bit better. Luke Maley, 313. And he got a Limus Diaz. Yeah, it's time to trade the man himself. 29 years old. He's not contributing as much as he used to to the team. I mean, he contributed a career year almost last year in half the games. But 
he just doesn't have a spot anymore. Roddy Telez, 211 batting average and just not getting anything in terms of production on the base pass. Ken Labine, there's production for you. Two homers, four RBIs, 250 batting average. Dwight Smith Jr. and Anthony Alford in limited at bats. Not doing it quite as well, so, hmm. The decisions are ticking, the pitching rotation. Alex Wood getting blown apart, but could just be a bad start. Sean Reed Foley, 327, much improved. And Jordan Hicks, ooh. Oh, that was Aaron Loop. Oh, that was Aaron Loop, boys, pardon me. Jordan Hicks, nine innings pitched, nine strikeouts, 2.0 ERA, we'll take that. Sam Sims, struggling mightily, so there you go. So Sam Sims looks like he is the one going down indeed. Unless something happens to Jordan Hicks the rest of the way home. Let's go figure this out. Couple of big victories there. We're gonna finish 500. Okay, all right. I'm cool with that. That's an all right finish. At least we're not below 500. How does this man's not having a hot streak next to his name? 80 at bats, a 350 batting average in spring training. What a beast for Garrett Aker. And then you got 315 for Devin Travis getting the home runs, getting the RBIs. Justin Smokes, 309. Josh Donaldson, 333. Oh, oh, oh. oh my. Randall Grichuk, he struggled mightily. Actually, you know what? We could trade Grichuk. That is also an option that we could do. Grichuk's been a 20 homer guy for the past, well, four seasons, two in Toronto, and that production's been good. So do we trade Grichuk now, or what do we do with him? He's just happy, middle of the run guy. I, I don't know. Ken Levine, kind of that challenge. We'll see that in a second. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. down, but up 235, two homers, nine RBIs. Kevin Plower, 306. Bo Bichette, 184. And Reese McGuire, 195 batting average. So Reese McGuire couldn't figure it out in spring. Hopefully he can figure it out in regular season action. Dalton Pompey, 19 at bats, so 368 batting average. That's not bad. Tommy Wallace, 250. Luke Maley, 167. Elimis Diaz, 187. Roddy Telez, 241, so Telez obviously stays. Ken Labine, mm, look at that, those are desirable numbers right there. Dwight Smith Jr. and Anthony Alford, so those two guys are going down. Ken Labine staying up, Elidmus Diaz. So we eliminate these, yeah. We've got our four on the bench, Dalton Pompey. He's on his way out of Toronto. We don't have to make that move quite yet, but we will go and find ourselves a trading partner for a Lidmus Diaz. Diaz, I know, I always butcher it, don't worry about it. And Dalton Pompey will suggest a trade. I just wanna see what the market for the MLB ready players is. Um, nobody at catcher, I don't want Justin O'Connor. Those guys don't look too appetizing to me either. We don't need more spots, so I guess we go with prospects and see what we can do for prospects. Carlton Taylor. Not really looking to be a good prospect at all. Luis Campusano, okay. 21 year old, 20, 69 overall catcher. Actually, hold on, this one really intrigues me. What is this catcher all about? 44 contact, 44 contact, 49 power, bad vision, but looks like he could turn into something. Good fielding. Needs the time to develop, that's for sure. Hmm. Hmm. See, let's take this off the board and just go prospects one more time. See if we can get anyone else engaging that we could possibly pick up. Uh, a couple of guys there, 65 overall. Nope, not really interested. Trade decisions, boys. Shortstop Gabriel Herreras. I already have a lot of shortstops. You see the camera moves on its own sometimes. I'm trying to decide this. Kevin Connor, first baseman though. Look at that, first baseman, 63 overall. Actually, you know what? We'll go with Kevin Connor here. The 70, 64, 79, bad power, but stick him out in the field and he could be of use, that is for sure. Give him a chance. You know what? Kevin Connor, it is. We'll offload the salary. You see, we're going to gain a bunch in salary. And that helps us out. Sounds like a good deal. So now the AAA team gets some help. And we've limited our bench. We send down Dwight Smith Jr. and Anthony Alford. We've got ourselves a team in terms of a lineup. Sam Sims, how'd you do? 458, Jordan Hicks, 150. There you go, so Sam Sims goes down and so do the other two center fielders. So let's go get that uh, dealt with right now. Anthony Alford, 
going down to AAA for his 25 year old season. And where do we got the man, Dwight Smith Jr. in his 27 year old season going down to AAA as well. We'll call him up as needed. But Ken LeBine makes the stick. Good on him. And the last guy we have to send down the last cut of the year to start 2020 is Sam Sims once again. He's only 20, give him a break. He'll get there eventually. Advance and we'll sim spring training, that is for sure. It's over, it's fine, it's done. And we advance to face the Boston Red Sox, Chris Sale, the first opponent of the year. The lineup looking good, Ken Labine. Might almost want to get him in there. But uh, you see, Ronald Grichuk still the better option as Ken Labine's looking pretty strong. Good, uh, you know what? Oh, it's, it, it's, a, it's a different story. I don't know. Ken Labine for Ronald Grichuk. You know what? I'm going to actually throw around Ken Labine. I'm going to give Grichuk the chance to sit on the bench a little bit, punish him for that start to the season, and see what he can do for us as Ken Labine's going to split time. And that's how we're going to start this season, guys. Thank you so much for tuning into the 2020 roster overview here on Doll Indy TV in the Toronto Blue Jays franchise mode. I got a lot of sun. I'm very tired. Thank you for sticking with me. I will catch you guys, as always, in the next one.